y'all look at my hair that looks crazy <laughs> good morning happy what's today it is tuesday may 14th welcome to a new vlog i actually just got in from a run it's tuesday right yeah it's tuesday i just got in from a run um it's my recovery run day so on sundays i do my long runs which is anywhere between six and the 13 miles. That's a half marathon. I haven't made the 13 miles yet. The most I've done is 12, I think. Um, but on my recovery runs, I do a 5K, which is 3.10, like three miles and 10, 3.10, 3.1, whatever you, whatever you call it. You know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, um, so I usually limit it to a 5K. And um, I usually do it downstairs in the gym but i have been working the last couple weeks on my 5k pace which i like to use that as like my recovery pace or like my half effort five effort out of ten um which is my goal for that is about a nine and a half minute mile so that means the slowest i can run and still come under a 10 minute mile and still like the slowest i can run like i can run that whole 13 miles at nine and a half minutes, if I have to, let's say I get a cramp, you know, my knees start bothering me, whatever. What's my so slowest pace that I can run consistently and still meet my time goal for the marathon? So that's essentially what I'm trying to like lock in, which my goal is a 9.15, 9.30 minute mile. So what was happening is I've been like practicing that on the treadmill and then I'll go out for my long runs. And when I get tired, I'm unable to maintain that, right? So I'm going over that like nine and a half mile instead of being able to slow down. Uh, I'm going up to like 10, 10, 10 minutes, 15 second mile instead of being able to slow down and stay consistent at like the nine and a half minute mile. And I just couldn't figure out why it wasn't translating because I feel like I'm running that speed. Um, and so I was like, okay, so I'm going to take my recovery miles off of the treadmill and onto the street. But instead of doing my normal route, which for my long runs, I run the street. So I run into a lot of stoplights and traffic and stuff like that. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure that that's part of, part of what's, um, like slowing me down. And also because the app isn't pausing and I'm not like physically pausing the app when I stop for like stoplights and stuff. And so I'm picking up seconds while the app is like thinking about, um, while the app is thinking about pausing because my body has stopped while it's like reading it. One, I think I'm about to get an Apple watch. Um, and that's just going to like eliminate all of that too, because I spent like quarter of a mile, the first mile today trying to get, cause I don't like using Apple music. I'd stupidly synced Apple music to the Nike run app and the it, it's not loud enough for some reason it's not not loud enough i just like title better um titles loud enough louder like it just it trans it sounds better through my air my airpods so um i wanted to play title but it like wouldn't play anyway so i my first mile this morning was so slow <laughs> It's like 11 minutes and 14 seconds because I spent so much time fighting with my phone and then I was running to the lake. So I was running to a lot of stoplights and stuff like that. But once I hit that lake, I did the last two miles of the three miles on the lake. Um, I think the second mile was like nine minutes and 24 seconds. And then the third mile was like nine minutes and 14 seconds. So both under that nine and a half minute mark. So that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to test and see like, can I consider like, it, I'm, am I tripping? So, um, I think my theory, it, it was an accurate theory. So I think on Tuesdays, I'm just going to take my runs outside in the morning, run up to the lake and then hit a couple miles consistently and just work on it that way. So anyway, I just wanted to open up the vlog and I thought I'd chit chat chat girl. I've been talking to y'all about running for like five minutes, but y'all always ask me advice on like how to run or, you know, ask me questions about my run. So there's a little information. Also, I just want to say, make sure you use the bathroom before you, <laughs> before you leave. I know this is TMI. Something that I always do is make sure that I use the bathroom. If I haven't used the bathroom, I'm not leaving until I use, but I don't even go downstairs and do a run like in the gym until I've used the bathroom this morning. It would not happen. So I'm just like, I'm fine. 
Y'all, I hit right at three miles. And I needed to run that last like 0.10 miles to get to 5K. Um, and I already knew that I was gonna walk back. So I walked, shoot, almost a mile back home. When I tell y'all my stump, like, you know when you get close, when you, the closer you get to your toilet, for whatever reason, <laughs> Baby, I damn near was balled over in the street by the time I got home. I was like, oh my God, I'm not going to fucking make it. I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. Oh my God. Anyway, make sure that you use the bathroom before you go out for your runs or you're going to be like me. I was squeezing tight, trying not to let loose like while I was getting upstairs and I like burst through the door downstairs. Um... And the girl sitting at the front door, I'm like, hey, hey, good morning, girl, don't talk to me. I got to get upstairs to my bathroom now. Anyway, <laughs> it's 7-12. That put me behind schedule. So I need to hop in the shower, make some coffee, eat something, and get to work. So I'm about to show y'all my ghetto soup dumplings. I'm also going to record myself doing this for TikTok. So I'm going to prop my phone up somewhere. But anyway, I'm hungry. But I don't really have, like, I don't feel like cooking, cooking right now. So I keep, let me show y'all. I keep these Trader Joe's, uh, Trader Joe's. <laughs> Trader Joe's chicken and vegetable, like, dumplings. Like, I keep a couple bags in them for days, like this, when I'm tired. So, typically you see people, like, fry these, like, in shallow oil on the um stove and then they'll put a top on them a steam them, or you'll see people steam them i boil them for my soup so i'm gonna put some water on y'all are literally propped up on the stove so i'm gonna use the other eye but i'm gonna start boiling some water and then we're gonna make like our soup mix if that makes sense so oh let me cut the eye on oh shit i keep forgetting I got that Chemex on that back eye and I literally keep cutting on the wrong eye. That motherfucker gonna explode one day. So we got our water preheating. We're gonna bring that to a boil before we add our dumplings in that. And in the meantime, we are gonna make our little sauce that we dump the dumplings in. I made this the other day, so I'm just gonna use the bowl. But I feel like this bowl wasn't big enough. I need a bigger bowl. Hold on. Uh-huh, we are gonna use the deep bowl. It was like too shallow. So I'm gonna take this. Do I have any water in here? I don't think I got enough water in here. Let's see. Oh, that's enough. So I put water in a bowl. Let me set my phone up. Damn, I didn't already forgot the first part. Let me let me grab my phone. Hold on. This is why in my vlogs, y'all be getting like <laughs> TikTok or like you know the vertical videos because I can't do both of this at the same time. It's just, it's a whole lot. It's a lot, but I'm gonna try to get it done. So what am I worth a prop? I'm just gonna prop it up on this thing. Let me see what the, hopefully that's in view. Cause I'm gonna be, let me just do a, let me do a test. It was actually perfect, damn it. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so I have my like bowl of water and then in the bowl of water I'm going to add soy sauce I'm going to add some red pepper then I'm going to add some of this gochujang sauce and then some garlic so what I'm going to do is put a piece of this frozen garlic in the water. I'm just going to warm it up just a little bit. Damn, it don't want to come out, y'all. So I just drop that in the water because I'm going to warm the water up a little bit. Um, So that'll melt down in the water. So I'm going to put this in a microwave for just a little bit to let it warm up. While that's warming up, I am going to cut some green onions and some um, red onions. I put the garlic, little garlic bulb in there because I don't have any minced garlic. Well, I have garlic, but honestly, I don't feel like um, cutting that up. And also, I'm going to use 
um, some chili crunch, which has little pieces of garlic in it. So I don't feel the need to also chop up garlic. So we have our water. We'll let that sit on the side for a little bit while I chop up. Actually, let me make the sauce first and then I'll chop up the veggies. Let me do that while the water is still warm so it can like melt that gochujang. Go, let me not say it like that. While the water is still warm so it can melt down that uh, gochujang. Hopefully, I'm, I'm, that's the best I can pronounce it. So it can melt that down. So I'm gonna add some soy sauce to the water. Ooh. That's a lot of sodium, but this ain't a healthy meal. I'm gonna add a little bit of the cayenne pepper, and then I'm gonna add some of the paste. I'm gonna let that do its thing while I cut up the veggies. Okay, back to the veggies. Let me take y'all off the stove. I don't know why I put this on my, um, on this like this, like I just got some superb cutting skills, cause I do not, just about that much. I don't need too much onion. Put that over to the side, let me see. Let me make y'all a little, a little better. Okay. I should get the proper knife, but like, I'm not doing that. I'm working with whatever is already in um, the dishwasher. <laughs> Green onions, which I need to wash some of this. One sprig should be enough. Actually, let's do two. So let me cut these little nasty ends off. Ugh, I don't like when that little skin be looking like that. And then I'm gonna cut the, I like the little white part too. It tastes more oniony. I like a little onion taste, you feel me? So I'm gonna put all that in the sauce now. And then this part, I'm gonna garnish the top of the um, dumplings with it. My water boiling, boiling, I need to get my dumplings in there. Okay, so those are the veggies. That's what it's looking like. If you wanna add like fresh garlic chunks, I would do that. Okay, well that's boiling. I'm just gonna put the onions into the sauce and let that marinate. And that's what that looks like, the sauce of it. So we're just gonna let that chill. So I be using my back camera while I'm doing this and I just be hoping and praying that it's in focus. So sometimes if like y'all see a video from me and it's kind of off to the side, it's because I was barely in the shot but it was good enough and I wasn't redoing it. That's probably what that means, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Let me stir this a little more. Sometimes I do this to my um, ramen noodles too. Like when I was young, we used to say, um, I'm gonna saute me up some noodles. We used to make our ramen noodles really fancy. And so we would like doctor up the water, doctor up, you know, uh, the sauce and saute them. So sometimes I'll buy um, like top ramen and just do this to it and not use the salt seasoning. Because we all know the sodium content is crazy, but also because mofos think they fancy. And then I'll put a little um, egg, like I'll boil an egg, like soft boil an egg, and then put that in there too. I'll put these in the dishwasher later. So you can also do this with your um, ramen noodles, or you could do it with just like regular like pasta noodles. Um, back home, our Chinese food, we have something which y'all know, St. Louis Chinese food is like unique. We have a dish called duck and noodles. And I, this reminds me of like the duck and noodle sauce, like juice that comes with the dish from back home. Um, 
and I think that's why I like it. So you can also just do it with pasta noodles too. But this is my little dumpling situation. Here's the dumplings after they've boiled and I put a little salt on them and a little garlic powder um, to give them a little seasoning. These, remember, these are ghetto dumplings. They have to have seasoning. Don't play with it. So now we'll add them to, girl, I almost dropped this phone in this dumpling juice. Girl, that would have been tragic. Anyway, let me cut my camera back on. On my phone. I'm be pissed if this don't come out right. I'm telling you, I'm be so mad. Make sure it's in focus. And you'll take the dumplings, pour it over in the juice slowly. Duh, you don't wanna, you don't wanna um, burn yourself. Then you take the green onions. Actually, I'm just gonna, oop. Take my green onion off that counter. Spread the green onions in there. And then the last thing is the Trader Joe's Chili Crunch. And that's it. That's the Ghetto Dumplings. That is the Ghetto Dumplings. Let me wipe this off. I'll show y'all in a minute. Hold on, I gotta get my final TikTok shot. And then I'll show y'all what they look like. I gotta clean the bowl so the little final TikTok shot will be cute. You know what I'm saying? So if y'all seeing this and you don't, and you follow me on TikTok and you don't see the video on TikTok, that's because it didn't come out. It didn't come out right. And just pretend like I didn't say none of that, okay? Just pretend like I just filmed it for y'all. Thank you so much. That's That shit look fire. <laughs> don't play with me. Don't play with me. It may be barely cooking, but it's cooking and it, and, it, and it look delicious. And that's on period, thank you so much. So I made an order from Matches Fashion last week. I just got a couple pair of jeans from the brand Ray, or Ray, I don't, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it. Anyway, I have a pair of jeans from them that I got um, a while ago and I really like them. They're like a dark wash denim. And um, I ended up having to get them taken in in the waist because um, they were like too big. These th these jeans run true to size. Um, I highly recommend them because I look, y'all. <laughs> I bought a 32. I didn't realize that I was buying a 32, um, but they're just like a cropped, like oversized. They're supposed to be low rise baggy, but not this damn baggy. So I'm gonna have to go get just a little bit take i don't even want a lot taken off like maybe just that much so they're not falling off my waist but they're supposed to be like a baggy like cropped like culotte style jeans i think they're so cute and i took my marant boots out to um try on with them because i want to take these to nashville they're, they're going to london with me like for a specific outfit but i think i'm also going to take them to nashville and I'm taking my Marant boots because I'm being Nashville. And so um, I'm probably going to go get these taken in um, this weekend. But look at, look at, look. <laughs> but they so cute. Fire. Let me take a selfie. Where my cell phone? I also got a pair of white denim. Um, also for a very specific look that I want to wear in London. These are more of a like mid rise, but I also sized up to a size 30, 31 in these. So they're a little baggy, but not like this. Like I don't need to get these taken in. And then they're long cause they're like a boyfriend style. Um, I love the way these fit and I'm going to also wear them with these boots. Um, so I'm probably gonna take my Marantz to London cause I also think they'll be really cute with like dresses and stuff. Um, and I have this red, like linen top that I have saved that I want to get from Mango to wear with these. I just thought white denim would look really cute with that. Also, I just don't have any white denim in um, my wardrobe, so I thought that was a great gap to fill. Um, I also filmed a TikTok before I hopped on here, so just wanted to come and show y'all my new pickups, my new um, wardrobe pickups. Super excited about 
Ugh, I hate when my armpits, like you can see the deodorant. I don't like that. If you, like listen, listen to auntie. When you're taking pictures, because I see it too often, when you're taking pictures, if you notice that your armpits aren't up to par, like if they just look crusty and dusty, try it again. I do not, I hate seeing ugly armpit pictures, but that's just me. It could be because that's one of my insecurities. I have fat armpits, and so I pay attention, like I zero in on my armpits first thing before I post a picture. So don't let me project onto y'all, but also, at least make sure your deodorant isn't like white and clumpy. That drives auntie crazy. Anyway, I'm gonna take these boots off, put this stuff up and uh, do something for the rest of the night, girl. Happy Friday. Um, it is after work, it's 5.43. I logged out of work immediately and went and um, grabbed a couple things from um, Toto's Market in like the little urban grocery store next to me to make this uh, Dirty Martini popcorn that I saved on TikTok a while ago. I'm already in the middle of cooking it and then I was like, oh, I should probably vlog it. I'm also making a TikTok of it. So let me show y'all really quickly what goes into the popcorn and then I'll show y'all the finished product. Cause y'all already know the drill. I can't make a TikTok and yeah. Anyway, let me show y'all. So I'm melting down some butter. You need three tablespoons or so of butter melted down. Um, and then I cut up some olives. So these are blue cheese stuffed olives. You technically want like gorgons out like blue cheese to put into the butter to melt down. Olives, a little bit of vermouth, which I also got some garlic powder, some onion powder, and then you would just pour it on top of the popcorn, which I bought microwave popcorn. I'm just, I'm taking an easy route. I could not find blue cheese at either of the two stores that I went to, so I got blue cheese stuffed olives, and that's going to have to work. But when I go to the grocery store, because I bought two bags of popcorn, when I go to the grocery store this weekend, I'm gonna get some actual blue cheese and make it the exact way from um, the um, TikTok, but this gonna have to do for today. So again, this is like a little over three tablespoons of butter. I feel like I need some more. Like it don't look like, a, like shit, she said three tablespoons. I feel like she had way more butter than this. Maybe I'm tripping, but um, yeah. So this is it so far. It's melted down. I have it on low heat. I'm gonna cut up a just a little bit because I think I got it too low. I have it on low heat and I'm just letting that cook and then I'm going to uh, stir in these olives. Maybe I can sit y'all up and y'all can watch me let me see. Let's cut the, this is me recording here. So I'm gonna start recording now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the, olives in there now. Let me fix y'all. Okay, now y'all a little less creaky. Y'all probably hear the people outside, baby, they is at that pool. They've been at that pool all day. I'm like, am I the only person working in this bitch? I feel like I'm the only person working in this bitch. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pop the popcorn now. Okay, now I'm gonna add a little bit of the vermouth. Let me show y'all what this look like. This is what the mixture is looking like. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off. That's what it looks like. That's what's going on top of um, the popcorn. Uh, can you see the bowl? No. Let's do this. Let's turn the skillet this way. And move the bowl to the middle. And let's see if you can see it. Not really. I need to turn the phone this way. Okay. Wow. 
One bag is actually plenty. So I feel like it wasn't gonna be enough. Here's what it looks like. I mean, it's not as appetizing because I done mixed it up for a video, but it's good. But I can't wait to taste it with the actual blue cheese. Cause it ain't cheesy enough. Mm. And I feel like with the blue cheese, it'll be super blue cheesy. Mm, mm, mm. Happy Saturday. I just got back up from the gym. Well, I've been up for a little bit because I made breakfast. Just some little scrambled egg. You better not fall. Some little scrambled egg um, tacos. Uh, Y'all probably hearing the fan in the background because I legit, the air, it, it, it's on 65, but these windows make it so hot in here. And so I have to have the fans on too because I'll be hot. <laughs> I'll be hot. Anyway, these are just, the Siete almond flour um, wraps with scrambled eggs and I put some peppers in the scrambled eggs and I had a little feta left so I put that on there and then some chili crunch from Trader Joe's. <clears throat> I need to wash my hair but I have my run in the morning. I'm, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to do it because I have a like a workout event to go to at like 12. So I'm thinking I might skip my run. So I could wash my hair today, but probably not. It's a nice day. I need to find something to do. I literally told myself in the gym today, I'm like, Angela, you cannot lay around the house all day. You need to find yourself something to do. So once I get done eating this, I'm gonna take a shower, get myself together, and find me something to do. They reopened the real real in Chicago. I might go see what that looking like. I'm trying not to go nowhere that's gonna like tempt me to buy stuff because there's an acne Studios sample sale on the 28th that I want to go to and I'm probably for sure gonna buy some stuff I'm actually going to see if they have any masubis in there they probably won't have the tote that I want but I'll take a black version of the one that I have in like the small size um too so I want to see what they have um I also really like acne's jeans so We'll see. And yeah, so I'm trying not to like go anywhere that's gonna tempt me to spend money on clothes because I have a plan to spend money. But honestly, that's what brings me joy. Like going into the store. So maybe I'll go into some of the stores and just see what they have and then get some lunch somewhere. I don't know. I get out of this house. So I'm gonna eat this. I was just checking in and say, hey. Oh yeah, and then Janae's Target collab comes out Sunday. And there are these like vests. They're like like sets, like the vest and the shorts. I don't want the shorts. I just want the vest. I want the black one. I want the white one. So I need to grab that this weekend too. So I don't need to really be spending my money. through that former's market it's wrapping up which I have to pay attention 
um, to like what's going on in the neighborhood. But anyway, there was a farmer's market and I walked up on it and um, it was wrapping up. And out of my mouth, I literally said, I need some blue cheese because I want to remake the popcorn from yesterday, but like the appropriate way. And then I turned the corner and it was a cheese stand and they had blue cheese. So I bought a chunk. It was $4. Talk about serendipity. So I decided to go ahead and go for a run this morning, but I didn't do <clears throat> my full long run because I have that um, workout event in a few hours and I just didn't want to tire my body out so I could like fully participate. So I did a few miles plus I didn't wash and I had to run in those little ass shorts and they were all up my butt. I, I couldn't. Oh, booty cheek out. Anyway, I just got an email that my Target order, I put a Target order in for pickup, just some household stuff. Uh, I put that in last night. It's ready. I'm about to pick it up. I also ordered a couple people from Janae. I mean, a couple people. A couple pieces from Janae's um, Target collab. Um, but I'm going to see if they have anything in the store so we could just look at it. Uh, the other few pieces that I want from her collab don't come out until the June drop. It's like a couple of dresses that I really liked. So I'm going to get those in the June drop. But I did get a couple pieces. It's actually the same piece in two colors from this drop as well. I love Janae. Um, I genuinely like the pieces. I was actually about to buy, I got the vest, the linen vest. It comes with like a short, it's like a two piece, but I just wanted the top. I legit was about to buy like a Ray vest off a of mattress when I bought those jeans cause I just wanted a vest. I'm glad I didn't cause I got two for less than what I would have paid for the one. Even though it was on sale on mattress, I still only paid like $75 for two. And the one on mattress was maybe like a hundred and something. So anyway, let's get to Target. Oh, I'm so sweaty and gross. I can only imagine how much of a full circle moment this is for Janae. So of course I was going to participate in making it successful, even though I actually really needed this vest in both the black and white, which is what I picked up. Um, I ordered it online last night and I'm glad I did because they did not have either in my size when I got to the store this morning at 8.30. It opened at eight. Um, but these are all the pieces that I absolutely love and I am waiting for a couple dresses that is that are going to drop in the next drop, I think. I have to have those, but all of the pieces that I'm touching and showing are like my favorite in the collection. And I think if you're doing more shopping than I'm doing right now, you should check all of these out. Got a piece of coffee cake because I am so hungry. It's huge though. I'm so hungry. I didn't eat enough before I came and I'm about to work out and I got an ice latte. I, I suppose I go live on Sundays. I'm so tired. I'm, I'm not going live. I was going to sit here and edit this vlog and have it up tomorrow, but I'll edit it tomorrow on my lunch and have it up Tuesday because I am exhausted. I am tired. I am beat boots. I literally just got out the shower. I haven't even done my skincare or put oil on my body. I just needed to sit down. And I was like, let me close out this vlog because ain't no more vlog. Ain't no more. I done done it all. Like those two workouts, that run and then that workout, I had this afternoon whooped my ass. And I'm hungry and I don't have no food because I waited. I told myself, Angela, order some groceries before you leave so that they'll be delivered today. I didn't do that. So I ordered them when I got back. And obviously they won't be delivered until like six, between six and 8 a.m. tomorrow. So I don't have no food. I do not want to do Uber Eats. But it's just like, what you gonna do, be hungry? Yeah, anyway, 
that's it for this week's vlog thank y'all so much for watching if you haven't already make sure that i'm not going live i'm not going live did i say that did i say i'm supposed to go live and i'm not going live i'm not going live i'm about to lay on this couch and nod off for the rest of the night actually i'm about to go put some moisture on my body because i can feel my face cracking up right now um anyway thank y'all so much for um watching make sure that you are subscribed uh, subscribed make sure you are subscribed across platforms um and i will catch y'all in the next vlog i'm gonna end this one and start vlogging um tomorrow for next week i have a couple packages coming in i uh as y'all saw i got my toe i just want my toe to heal i keep getting distracted because i'm tired anyway as y'all saw i got a couple pieces from janae's uh collab with target and then i bought a skirt to recreate a um an inspo or you know create an inspo look from a, a pen that i got and so that'll all be in next week's vlog my eye itching oh and then i bought a shirt today off of matches because it was on my wish list and it went under a hundred dollars it's a white project t-shirt um so i bought that too so that'll be in the vlog as well anyway i'm gonna go um bye <laughs> bye she looked tired